the graph of the quadratic polynomial y equals ax squared plus bx plus c intersects the x-axis at the points minus 4, 0 and 3, 0. Find one set of possible values for a, b and c if they are integers, integers being positive or negative whole numbers. So we want to start off by taking our x values of each of the coordinates. So we have x is equal to minus 4 and x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 4. So what we're going to do is change their signs and put them inside brackets. So we get x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 4. Then we can multiply out the brackets. So bringing down the x, sticking on the x plus 4. Bringing down the minus 3, sticking on the x plus 4. x by x is x squared. x by 4 is 4x. Minus 3 by x is minus 3x. Minus 3 by 4 is minus 12. And then simplifying, 4x minus 3x is x, or 1x. So we end up with x squared, which is 1x squared, plus 1x minus 12. So we can label them a, b, and c. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 12. So we found one set of possible values for a, b, and c. And they are indeed integers, so they are positive or negative whole numbers. So this is what the graph would look like. This is the graph of x squared plus x minus 12. And it has roots at minus 4 and 3. And it has a y-intercept of minus 12. So minus 12 is the point at which it crosses the y-axis.